Hi right, guys, today we're going to be looking at a Pulse Rage 125. This is on a 2009. Um, little 125 4Ts, no messing around. Um, as I always say in my videos, strip them down to get to work on them. That's the first thing you've got to do. So, first things first, tank off. Now, there's a plastic tank. The actual tank is underneath, just like the D, uh, DNA 125s. There's two bolts here, and a screw here, and a screw here. Take the cap off, and the tank just nicely lifts out and get out of the way. And then you've got all the panelling and so on. Well, you don't really need to take this off. They've got this weird petrol system from the tank that sucks up into this little vacuum and then back into the tank. That sometimes goes wrong, but anyway, first things first, it's got a big air filter off. Um, I've undone all the bolts of this, ready to come off. I've got this cover, which obviously has to come off. There's a few bolts in here. Um, I'm going to check the oil, and there's the old Sparky plug in there. So I'm going to have a look where we've got Spark, checking the oil, and do my normal bits, really. They're not bad, chunky little bikes, I'm honest with you. They do 60, 65 miles an hour. Um, they look like a proper bike from the front and side when you're overtaking people as well. Um, but no clutch basically, it's just a twist and go but the same as the old DNA 125 cc's Pulse made one of these yeah it's a bit cheaper um, more likely to go wrong in sense I suppose but we'll have a look at this one, see what we've got, Spark this has got this little um, uh, key fob here that's got auto start on it <laughs> it does work as well actually but we'll have a look this has only got 49,000 kilometres on it um, 4,900 kilometres, not 49, idiot. So that's about 2,500 miles, 2,6, something like that. So that's not bad at all. So there you go, guys. I'll show my next video in a minute. Remember what I said, guys, to do a test. It's just quite simple. Take the plug out. It's great um, compression, I've got to say. And just take the plug, pair of pliers, um, and just quite simply touch it either against the metal or the exhaust. And there was a really good spark. So it always gets me when you've got these kill switches. You know, is that working or is that working? But on this one, it's down with the circle up. With the circle across, is off. So I've got spark. One down. Right. That little vacuum system. And get the carb out and sort it out. And then we can see. Okay, probably not the right way. Oh, God's sake. Probably not the right way to um, sort of carb it out. But it's, it's easy to get to. Um... Drained out the fuel. I don't know if you can see this. It's green. Petrol's not green. And it's got an odd smell to it, like, I don't know, paraffin or something. Maybe a reason why it's probably not starting. So, that's a case of clean the whole carburetor. I mean, look, whatever it is in there, it's green in there as well. So, drain all the petrol out, clean all the fuel pipes, everything out of it. And, uh, yeah, then see what happens with some fresh fuel on it. Well, as I said, it, it cracks me up every time I look at this bike sometimes. This is off petrol, okay? It's got a bronze colour to it. That is what's in the carburetor. I mean, it's green. <laughs> it smells different. It's not petrol, obviously. So, um, you can see it's still green in the bowl. The only thing I can do is flush it out of petrol and keep washing it out. And I'm going to have to completely dismount the carburetor. So, uh, strange. Maybe an instant reason why it ain't starting. But it's got great compression, good spark, so it's got to be carbon, whatever fluid that is. Strange. Well, there's the carburetor back together. That took me one, two, and start of this one to get all that green and my good stuff I did the jets with. Um, just to get all the green out. Just got, I don't know, do you think someone thinks it's antifreeze or something? We put maybe antifreeze in there? I, I absolutely got no idea. Even in here, this is the reservoir, even here's green, and my hands are just, just green. <laughs> even blue gloves are green. So, yeah, bloody strange that is. Right, I better wash the air filter out. That's the carburetor all clean anyway and done. Um, the, so I drain out the petrol, clean up, and see what I get then. I've also left a spark plug out, and I might have to put a rag in there, or I don't know, it must be all in the engine. I've got no idea what that is. Mm -hmm. Send your answers in the postcard to. <laughs> I've got no idea, I've never seen nothing like it.
guys. Just to finish, I got all that green crap. I don't know what it was out of the um, petrol system, and now it runs. Now I put some fresh petrol, a whole gallon in there now. Um, it's still running a little bit lumpy, but I expect that. So I'm now putting all the panels back on, um, making sure that this cover is secure. I have to cheat with a little cable tie because a little bolt down there, and not forgetting the couple in there. But um, starting to put it all back together again with a fake tank, um, draining it all out of here. I mean, that's all the petrol I've got out of it. Um, but you can see the just the odd green, you know, not bluey tinge to it. Obviously, that's the old crappy petrol, but yeah, so it's running a um, bit lumpy. It's running about 4,000 revs now. The carburetor needs, which I've just tucked away in there, I just realised that. <laughs> I can still get to the main screw, which is obviously. Uh, the air petrol mix which is down there um, I've got it turned out and normally it's four I've got it about five and a half and I think it's just gonna you got me how long that stuff be in there it must be all coated around the piston um, all pipes internally so I'm still getting little bits coming through so I reckon if I take it for a ride um, that's hopefully it will just burn it all through get hot and get rid of it all so it might be a bit lumpy for a little while and then it should be running really well so there you go pulse rage um, uh, up and running and you know I suppose a simple fix um, but in the day they do look quite nice you know these little things look like a proper big you know big bike when all back together again I'll um, show you one little picky of it all back together outside well there you go pulse rage quite a big looking bike um, in the front you know and they've got nice twin lights on them as well doesn't look like a little ped Big old uh, air filter and stuff, I suppose. But zooming by, I mean, they're going to do 65, 67 miles an hour as standard. There's no sense trying to soup these bikes up, really. But there you go, nice big chunk exhaust, you know, for a quick view. Does look a much bigger bike, it's 59 flat, as I said. Quite chunky at the back, isn't they? Uh, clocks are something to be desired, looks like there should be another cover over here or something. But anyway, this is. um. Ready for a test ride. I'm mean, not going to stay low up and down the road. They're not that noisy. We have a deep grunt out of these, really. Check out my videos. Uh, yeah, I've got more to do. That Hoi Sing Sung thingy. 125. They're massive for 125. And an SMC to play with. I've still got the dreaded Speed Fight 3s. But anyway, that was done today. And uh, job done.